Good morning, folks. The amazing science on Nova keeps coming in as the turning of that scientific field is now painfully obvious. We've also got a shot at climate science and Earth changes to close, but there is only one focus at this moment, and that is the sun. The activity level keeps going up. We are seeing both plasma filament eruptions and increasing solar flare power. So far, the rise has lifted into high C and low M class range, which you can see at the bright points here in dimmed 131 angstroms. The sunspots are multiplying as well. That new spot top left incoming is watching the leading spots out ahead develop friends beside them. All will need to be monitored as the sun's uptick continues. And that does also include those plasma filaments ripping every which way off of the corona. About the most calming news is the weakness of the ongoing coronal hole stream. It was a minor plasma enhancement only, minor geomagnetic effects. Folks, the Nova science coming out is more numerous, more questioning of paradigms, all about the discovery of things they thought were impossible and things that implicate our sun isn't immune. From the very large here as we're watching a new 3D model of the biggest and brightest recurrent nova in the galaxy, Eta Carinae. 10% of its mass ejected and it's still burning brightly in the center. From eye candy there to the breaking of models, this time it's the luminosity profiles and the chemical signatures and the type of star that should be able to produce what we see and in which types of galaxies we should find them. Time to rewrite another lumbering chunk of astronomy. Up next, we're in the same realm as those dark nova that were discovered after stars wandered into molecular clouds and exploded. This star wandered out of the large Magellanic Cloud and blew up in intergalactic space between the Milky Way and our little satellite galaxies. Their explanations are admitted to be bafflingly guesstimated, but there's no question of what they are seeing, even if they need to rethink progenitor environments for the hundredth time in the last two years in order to explain it. Lastly, folks, we've got a team with Tier 1 level resumes who are on the verge of figuring out something tremendous. They're realizing that climate models are a complete disaster. Planet not quite warming as much as they thought, and yet the extremity of storms is off the charts, already exceeding projected values for the end of the century, especially the winter storms. And no, that can't be human pollution, global warming. They do get a huge golf clap for their recognition and condemnation of the climate models in that regard, but they do stop short of looking outside human emissions as the cause and explanation. Truly, this is the weakening magnetic field of our planet, the ongoing early stages of Earth's catastrophe cycle, the end of this age and the beginning of its phoenix, amplified pressure dynamics and global electric circuit. That's why the storms are off the charts. We greatly appreciate your support. We've ordered more textbooks, by the way, for those who noticed it was sold out. Those will be available again soon at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.